News Channel 8 at 4. We're learning more about the police shooting of a teen accused of pointing what looked like a military style rifle at passing vehicles. Police shot and killed the suspect who they say pointed the weapon at them. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino joining us now live in Tarpon Springs with some new information. Melissa. Hey, so police, they just wrapped up a news conference. They tell us the victim, the teen, the suspect in this case is 17 year old Alexander King, an 11th grade student at Tarpon Springs High School. Very disturbing news here. Now, I want to show you the very busy intersection that this all unfolded on Saturday night. You can see it happened right here in front of the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Com Commerce. That is where he was allegedly waving that gun and pointing it at people and vehicles as they passed by. Now, we learned that rifle turned out to be an airsoft gun. But police say there was no way to tell from the distance. Now, police, they are releasing video of this incident, and I do have to warn you, it is extremely difficult to watch. Hey, block the area! Go, 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 go! Dramatic police body camera video shows officers frantically running to the scene after several 911 calls about someone pointing a military style rifle at people. The police chief identifying the suspect as 17 year old Alexander King, an 11th grade student at Tarpon Springs High School. In a witness video, King can be heard screaming at police to shoot him while holding up the rifle. You will see the subject bringing the rifle up to his shoulder, charging the weapon, and taping, taking aim at the officers. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! The chief says the officers, in fear for their life, opened fire, shooting him several times. The officers attempted CPR, but King later died at the hospital. Eight on your side spoke to a witness who didn't want to be identified. He described the heart-pounding moment. He says the suspect pointed the gun in his direction, and he took cover in an alley. And the guy keeps screaming, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. And I'm with my dog, so I kind of pull to, to the side up against the building. I lie down because I don't know what's going on. Again, police tell us after inspecting it, they learned the weapon was an airsoft gun. We've also learned that the teen had 22 run-ins with law enforcement, including two felony arrests. That includes aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Now, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, they are now investigating this, not the Tarpon Springs Police Department. And the officers involved in this, they are on paid leave uh, pending this investigation right now, but that is standard procedure. Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.